Michigan Auto No Fault Insurance. It's a mandatory requirement if you want to own and drive a car in this state. It's also a topic that's been in the news the last couple of years after serious changes were made to the law in 2019. When purchasing your coverage, you have a very impactful decisions that you need to make. So joining us this week, Grand Rapids car accident attorney from uh, uh, Tom Sinus, our sponsor, is here to break it down and provide some guidance on the topic. First of all, Tom, thanks for being with us once again. Thank you for having me back. Okay, let's start with just the basic overview of auto no-fault coverage and exactly what is required. Right. So, as you mentioned in your lead-in, there are a couple of basic forms of insurance that every driver is required to have if they're going to legally operate their car. The first is no-fault coverage, which includes most significantly coverage for your medical expenses, lost wages. The second is liability coverage. Both drivers have to have both forms of coverage. Now, as you also mentioned, there were some significant changes in 2019 that led to different choices now that people have to make, but it didn't change the basic paradigm that everyone still has to have both no fault and liability coverage. Okay, so before that 2019 reform went into place, we didn't have to make these uh, decisions uh, when it came to our medical coverage, but now we do have to make that decision, right? That's right, before 2019, Every driver in Michigan who had no-fault coverage had medical expense coverage that did not have an arbitrary cap on dollars. Everyone had medical expense coverage with no monetary cap, okay? In 2019, a law was passed that went into effect in 2020. This part of the law went into effect in 2020, and it said to drivers, okay, you now no longer have to have unlimited medical expense coverage, you can choose something less. And by something less, I mean something that provides with some form of an arbitrary cap on your medical expense coverage. And so that choice of whether to protect your family with something less than full coverage, full medical expense coverage, that choice is now something that people have had to make since 2020. And unless the law changes, they'll have to continue making that choice into the future. And so what a really, the question here is, how much medical expense coverage are you gonna purchase to protect you and your family from an event that you don't know if it will happen, you don't know when it will happen, you don't know how it will happen. I think most people, if you ask them, would you ever choose health insurance coverage that had a $250,000 cap, for example, most people would say no, because I don't know how much health care I'm going to need. Well, auto insurance functions a lot like health care, and yet these choices, things like $500,000, $250,000, or even as low as $50,000 for Medicaid recipients, or none at all for people with certain kinds of health coverage, those are now choices that people are going to have to keep making. So speaking of choices, do we have choices when it comes to the choice of liability? So liability coverage is different. We've always had choices and we still do. We've never had a choice to go below a state minimum amount. Now, what is liability coverage? Well, if you and I get into a crash and I cause the crash, you may have a claim, if you've been seriously hurt, you may have a claim against me, principally for the change in your quality of life, but also perhaps your lost wages into the future, things like that. That's liability insurance. In other words, how much coverage am I going to purchase to protect me financially if I cause a crash and seriously injure you? That's what we're talking about with liability coverage. So before 2019, the state minimum was very low, $20,000 per person. After 2020, the default, meaning where people are slotted if they don't make a choice, is $250,000 per person. But people can choose to go even lower than that. Not something I recommend, but they can choose to go lower than two hundred fifty. dollars They can go all the way down to $50,000 if they complete a specific form. But they no longer can go lower than $50,000. Now, you have been and still can go much higher than $250,000. So does your firm offer suggestions on either of those? Yes, we do. My general suggestion here is people should buy as much coverage as they can reasonably afford, leaning in to as much coverage as possible. Uh, we put out, for example, and I brought a copy. We have a, a publication that we provide hard copies of. It's also on our website. It's called Making Smart Choices, a summary to the new auto no-fault law. And the general recommendations here are when it comes to no-fault coverage, buy unlimited medical expense coverage because as I said earlier you have no idea when you're gonna need this 
and if you need it, how much you're going to need. So the idea that you would think, oh, I'm not going to need more than $500,000, well, there's no way to know that. Buy as much medical expense coverage as you can afford, preferably in a strong preference for unlimited. On liability coverage, this coverage is actually quite cheap. Buy as much of that as you can afford. If you can afford $500,000, go for it. If you can afford a million dollars, go for it. The difference between those two amounts is not much. And if you, heaven forbid, cause a crash, you want the peace of mind of knowing that I have a reasonable amount of liability insurance that will protect me and my family financially from the claim of someone else. So can we just reach out to your law firm? Because obviously, anytime we're dealing with this stuff, you know, for people like me, it's not, you know, top of mind. You're the expert. <laughs> That's right. They can find us online, sinusdreamus.com. As I said, this publication is available for free. Uh, they can call us the old-fashioned way, 616-301-3333. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by 8 West again. Thank you. And this segment is sponsored by Sinus Dramus. Law Firm will be right back with more 8 West.